Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Kai. So I wanted to share a book with you that I get some of the ideas for our art lessons from. This book is called 52 Creative Adventures in Drawing, Painting, Printmaking, Paper and Mixed Media. It's called Art Lab for Kids. So if you're interested in some of the art lessons that we've been doing, um, you can pick this up. I got it at Office Max, but I'm sure they have it on Amazon. Or if you go online and look for it, I'm sure that your mom and dad could help you find it. So if you're interested in doing some art projects, this is a great resource. Okay? And again, it's 52 um, Art Lab for Kids by Susan Schwake. S-C-H-W-A-K-E. That's the author, Susan Schwake. And it's a lab series. So I thought that was cool. There's at least 52 art lessons in here. Um, but I always alternate, like, you know, or alter it. So I don't give you the art lessons that are exactly um, like what's in the book. Uh, it's also sectioned off into units. So... The unit I've been reading is uh, the unit on paper. And so the art lesson you're doing today is texture. Texture is um, one of our principles of art. And as I was reading through it, I noticed that this book used a lot of, of um, print. So this was a map collage. And they used like cutouts of maps to create... Um, pieces of art and that inspired me to look up text as texture. I really like this one where you take a picture and then you use print to create texture. You can see that they used, um, it looks like they used cutouts of a dictionary. Okay, so I wouldn't want you cutting out any books around the house without asking permission first. But you know what you can use that I found on the curb outside my house? They had this. Have you ever seen this? This is the telephone directory. So I found this, or you could use newspaper, old newspaper. And the phone directory has really cool, like, texts. Text. So it has all these, it's phone numbers phone number phone numbers of people and I use my phone to collect phone numbers so I don't really need this but look at all this paper that it has or all this like resource that I can use to make my art so today we are going to be making a very very cute um, picture and there's two different kinds you can either make a cat or a shark using um, just paper from the phone book or newsprint and some colored paper for background and it should make a really cute design. Yeah, it's kind of a paper craft. And we're using the print to create texture in our art. Sound good? All right, let's go do it. Bye. All right, boys and girls. So today using newsprint, we are going to be making two different designs. I will first show you how to make this cat paper craft using the newsprint. Um, I just wrote a cute pun. You are perfect. And I had, you're going to need a colored background, some newsprint. Um, I put a colored, I cut out a piece of colored people paper for his collar. And then I used white paper to cut out eyes and a Sharpie pen to draw in the detail. Okay, so scissors, a glue stick for this art craft. Colored paper for background, a glue stick, a pair of scissors, our Sharpie marker, yeah, and probably like a piece of uh, just white paper for the eyes. And that's really all you need. Again, for these art crafts, I am just using my um, telephone directory and I'm just ripping out. Um, a page of it so that I can use all that the text the text is what's giving me the texture of the of the image of the cat okay so we are going to be doing a cat 
as well as if you'd like to try I also did one with a shark okay and this one um, was inspired by the movie um, Finding Nemo fish are friends and I also had some googly eyes for this one so for this one I used two colored papers um, for the background and then the waves I used the newsprint for the shark's body, some black paper for the mouth, and the white paper for the teeth. Again, you need scissors, glue stick. This one, I didn't really need my Sharpie pen, but I did find some googly eyes. If you don't have googly eyes, you can always cut out some shark eyes out of white paper and use a Sharpie pen to color it in. Okay? All right, let's get to it. Okay, let's start with our cat. So for our cat design, what I did was I went ahead and took my newsprint and I drew three different pieces that I want to use for my cat. My first piece kind of looks like two parentheses. This is going to be my cat's body, okay? Or it kind of looks like a jar. So I just drew one line like this, a curved line, another curved line, and then I put two parallel lines on the top and bottom. It kind of looks like a jar or a shield. Okay, I turned my paper sideways and I wanted to make a tail. This tail I made using two wavy lines. Okay, imagine a cat tail. And here is our example. The first time I ever made it, I made my cat have a straight tail. Sometimes cats have straight tails. But this time, I decided I'd want my cat to have a wavy tail. Like maybe it shows that the cat's moving his tail back and forth. So I cut that out. And the last part is his head. So when we're doing our cat head, we want two ears. And then the top of his head is rounded, and then it kind of goes down, okay? So when I drew my cat head, I drew two ears first, like two little triangles. And then I connected it with a curved line. Two curved lines on the side, and one straight line. You can use a pencil if you don't feel comfortable drawing it with your Sharpie. So you can use your pencil and then when you get it just the way you like it, then you can use your Sharpie, okay? That might be a good way to do it. Now that I have those pieces drawn out, okay, I'm gonna use my scissors. Remember when we use our scissors, thumb in the circle and two fingers in the bottom. Open, shut them, give it a couple, okay, snips to get ready. And I'm just going to cut these out. Okay. Cutting on the on the Sharpie line. Okay, so I'm going to cut out my three pieces. And then I'm going to use my glue stick to attach it to my background. So let's just say I'm going to use this as my background today. Let me see. Ah. Let me see if I have another piece. I do. Hey, look at that nice paper. Okay, so this is my background. I'm going to put my cat body down however I like. Okay, there's my cat body. I still need to cut out the head. And I'm trying to cut on the dark line. So I use the Sharpie so that it has a nice thick outline. Okay. Quality producer. We want to make sure we are doing quality work. Okay. And make sure that you ask permission 
to cut the phone book or to cut the newspaper before you use it. There's the hat, so I mean the head, so I know it's gonna kind of go there. Or you might want to flip it around. Ooh, I like that. That fits a little better. So I flipped it around. It's okay if these words are upside down and because these words are going this way. It just gives the um, art piece a different look and feel to it. It's got different texture. So now I just need my tail. I'm going to cut out the tail and then I'm going to get the glue stick ready and I am going to glue stick, uh, glue those pieces down. Okay. All right, now that I've got all my pieces, I went ahead and got my glue stick. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and lay them down. So glue stick is so much better than the liquid glue for this project because the liquid glue tends to make the newsprint, which is very thin, um, it, get, it makes it lumpy versus glue stick. Um, just makes it lay down smooth on the paper. Now, what I do is I go ahead and I place them down like so I know what parts I like where. So what I noticed was I really wanted to tuck this, um, the tail of the cat behind it. Okay, it looks so much better like that. So that's how I'm going to glue it. I glued most of the body down and now I'm going to glue the uh, tail. I went and attached the tail a little behind the body so you can see that it's it looks like the cat's tail is waving behind it kind of like a real cat would would have its tail wagging behind it and then I'm going to go ahead and glue down the the head of my cat making sure that I get the edges because that's a quality producer isn't going to have the edges sticking up. Okay, and it fits just right on the top there. Now, I'm going to use my Sharpie to add detail to my cat, okay? I want to put the three markings on his forehead. So one... Hey. Being very gentle because newsprint is thin. See, I need to change my marker. There we go. One, two, Okay, and I needed eyes. My cat needed eyes. So I took the white paper and I actually made eyes. My circle eyes are going to be for my shark, but I uh, drew out some cat eyes, which looks like little almonds for the cat eyes. And I'll show you the example again. So these are the eyes, right, for my cat. And I just drew them like that. I drew these almond shapes and then I drew oops, almonds again inside. So I'm gonna cut out these eyes. Okay. Quality producer, keeping my cutting on the line. Okay. And that is going to be the eyes for my cat. One. And here's another. Okay, so I'm going to lay them out. Yes, that's exactly where I want those eyes to go. So I'm going to put some glue stick on them. And put the eyes down. Oh, he's so cute. I really like this guy. 
Will your cat look exactly like mine? No, but that's okay because that's your piece of art, okay? Now to make a cat nose, so I have my eyes, I am just going to bring two lines down from the inside tip of his eye like that, okay? This is going to be my cat nose and then it has a little triangle for a nose at the end. Okay, and then a little cat mouth like that with some whiskers, give him some whiskers. Maybe a little, he'll have a little stripe here. Hey, if you don't want to do stripes, if your cat has dots instead, that's fine, okay? Um, if you want to use, you know, a different color for his collar, like you might want to use a marker and give him a collar. You might give him, you know, some cats have a, on their collar, they have a little tag or a bell so that people know where their cats are. You could do that. Um, you could do a design on his tail. Maybe he doesn't have stripes that go across. Maybe this cat is like tiger striped. You know? Maybe he just has one big um this cat is different. He has stripes on his head. But he has a big black dot on his belly. It's your art piece, so you can decide how you want it. Okay. So maybe that's my cat this time. But I want his belly even. So cute. I'm so happy with that. All right, so that's my cat this time. Does it look exactly like my example? No. It looks unique and different this time. That's okay. All right. But whatever you do, don't forget, sign your work. Okay, always sign your work in the bottom. And take a picture and send it to your teacher. Show them what kind of great work you're doing. All right, next up, the shark. All right, boys and girls, we are now going to move on to the shark piece that was inspired by Finding Nemo, okay? So what we're going to need is the two colors of blue paper, okay, and our newsprint, a little bit of black and white paper, a Sharpie marker. Okay, some glue stick. So for this one, for this time around, I decided to go with a sunny day at sea. Okay, so I went with a yellow background. And then I drew on my newsprint, it kind of looks like a mountain, right? So I drew with my Sharpie marker up and down. And then I used my scissors and I cut it out. Okay, I cut out the shark. And I put it down. Did I glue it down yet? No. I haven't started using the glue yet because I want to go ahead and lay out everything before I glue. I also wanted to get some blue paper. So even though I have a yellow background this time, I still want that blue, the blue waves on the bottom. So I went ahead and this time around I made my waves look like that. So that's going to go on the bottom. And I have my black Sharpie to give it a nice outline. What else do we need? Probably the eyes. So the eyes were just like the cat. I went ahead and I drew them on white paper. And I'm going to cut those out. Sometimes it's easier to cut it out um, smaller before I cut out the detail. Quality producer, cutting on the lines. I'm turning my paper, not my scissors. It makes it easier to cut. Okay, and there's my shark. There's an eye there. 
If you don't have black paper, right, for the mouth, can you just draw on the white paper, draw a black mouth on the white paper, color it in and cut it out? Sure you can. So, there's my shark. If you don't have googly eyes, you can just add some eyes looking that way. So we're going to talk about you don't have black paper for the mouth. That's okay. Just go this way with a black marker. Okay. Up and down. That's kind of the shape we're doing for this whole shark. The shark's whole, the whole thing of the shark. I want to make sure that it wasn't going through the paper. Um, so can I just color this area in? Sure I can. Look at that. I just colored in that shape and now I'll just cut it out of, and so I'm just using my white paper and a, a black marker. To make the mouth. Arr. Eight. He's kind of looking sideways, like he's not even interested in eating. Um, and then I need some teeth. So for the teeth, I'll just cut a strip of white paper. And I just want to make triangle teeth. So I'll cut a couple triangles out for his teethies. You ever seen those shows about sharks? They have hundreds of teeth and they're just all piled in their mouth. So I just want to cut out enough teeth to make my shark look like he is, like he means business. Right? This shark looks a little sleepy. Again, does it look exactly like my example? No, but that's okay. Sometimes art changes. Right? Oh, maybe this shark has fangs. There we go. I think that's it. So when I get it to where I want it, and I'm ready to glue everything down, then I will. Does it look exactly like my other shark? No. Okay, so there's my example, right? Doesn't look exactly the same, but I like it. And I can change it. I don't like his eyes like that, so maybe I'll fill in his eyes like this. Whew. Maybe I will turn them up. Look at the change. I don't know. Do I like that? I don't know if I like that. Haha. <laughs> it's your art, so you wanna. Ooh. Look at the different kinds of eyes I can make. I could either make it like that with a dot or like that. I think I'm gonna make them both like that. Her. Yeah, happy. Once I'm happy, I'm gonna use my glue stick. And I'm going to glue everything down. And then I might write something, you know, on the top. My puns for this were fish are friends. So that's how you make the shark. Fish are friends. And then earlier we made our new cat. I think you're perfect. I hope you enjoyed these paper crafts. And I'll see you next time.